At the Mount Sinai Winter Symposium, I'm given to talk on actinic keratosis. We all know the importance of treating actinic keratosis because actinic keratosis is a precancerous lesion to squamous cell carcinoma. There's lots of evidence to show that this is true. There's something that I call the AK March, and there's a molecular study, there's multiple molecular studies, I should say, to show that you go from normal non-sun exposed skin to sun exposed skin with certain mutations to actinic keratosis with more mutations to squamous cell carcinoma in situ with more mutations to finally an invasive squamous cell carcinoma that really has distinct mutations from normal skin that's not sun exposed. So the smart from normal to AK to squamous cell carcinoma has really been well de delineated in the literature. The other concept that I presented is called timed sequential therapy. And this is really a combination therapy approach to treatment of actinic keratosis. Because we know it's imperative not only to treat the individual lesions, but we also have to treat the field. And there's lots of literature out there on combining modalities such as photodynamic therapy or cryotherapy with topicals such as 5-fluorouracil, imicumod, and inginal mebutate. Now the last concept that I presented is an alternative treatment to some of the topical therapies. Now why do we need this alternative treatment? Well, we need it because some of our patients just simply cannot afford the topical medications. For example, in our area in New York City, the cheapest of the topicals is almost $1,000 a tube. Some of them are close to $3,000 a tube. So what I do for some of my patients that cannot afford this medication or don't want to spend it, don't want to spend the money on something that's topical that they have to apply for two, three, four, six weeks, is we actually do laser for example, fractionated resurfacing is FDA approved for actinic keratosis. And they pay out of pocket, but not only do they get their AK treated, they also get a cosmetic benefit out of getting that therapy. So instead of spending the money on the cream, they're spending it on laser and getting a benefit of treating their AKs, as well as a cosmetic benefit with that therapy. But if there's one thing that I'd want to stress about my presentation is the need for combination therapy, this need for time sequential therapy of a destructive modality and something that really treats the field.